Hi, and welcome to Practically Creative. Today we are going to make a horse hair necklace. So what I have here is horse hair from tail. You want to use tail hair. I've already washed it and I kind of sorted it into small sections just for ease of using it. So once you've washed it, dried it, and I just use like Dawn dish soap or a horse shampoo or your own shampoo. When you make jewelry with horse hair, you want to get all the hair the same length. That way you don't get little picky ends that are going to irritate you when you wear the jewelry. So I like to take a section, and what I'm going to do, I am going to pull the very end so that way I know whew, that was very long that all the hair I want to keep all the hair that are the same length so I'm going to put this down and I'm just going to continue doing that Bear with me um, until I have enough to to make my necklace. All right, I think that's that's going to be enough. So we're going to rubber band one end. Okay, what I like to do is I have my board here with a clip on the end. I'm going to clip this on like that and that's going to hold it in place for me. And this is like a twist braid. And you can look up any type of braid that you want to do online. I happen to have a book 200 braids to twist, knot, loop, or weave. Um, this sort of got me started when I uh, started making um, horsehair jewelry. So to start, I'm going to have another rubber band to secure the end, is I'm going to divide this into two sections. So what we're going to do is we're going to twist the hair counterclockwise to get started. So you've got both of them list twisted counterclockwise and then you're going to twist them around clockwise. So I kind of Just work as I go. You're twisting counterclockwise and then you're turning clockwise. I hope that makes sense. Counterclockwise, clockwise. All right, I'm just going to do that till I get to the bottom. Okay, and when you get down to the end, where you start getting, you know, you know when you're at the end. Go ahead and take your other rubber band and tie that off. These make really nice um, mementos if you've lost if you've lost a horse. You can take a bit of their tail, um, make a necklace. Uh, the same concept if you want to make a bracelet, you just make it shorter. So when I take this, now I'm going to make it very pretty. Um, Jack, this was Jack, up from Jack's tail. Um, beautiful, beautiful hair. So when this hooks up, you're going to have a necklace about, about like that. 
So now what we have to do is we have to get something beside rubber bands in order to like tighten this off because we're going to um, I have these end caps that we're going to put the horsehair inside. So what I'm going to start, and I'm going to trim this down a little bit. So it's a little easier to work with. And what I like to do in order to really clamp these tight is I like to use, um, this is 24 gauge uh, craft wire. So I cut, I always cut too much. I'd rather have more than I need than run out. And I'm going to put this wire, I'm going to start it like right about there. But I'm going to put this wire up like this and we'll trim, we'll trim this all up once we kind of get it. And I'm going to start wrapping and you want to wrap it really tight. And you want to wrap it then up the wire you've got going here. That way any ends of wire are going to be in the top of your end cap. I just like to go three or four times and then if I want to make sure I tighten it up see so it looks like that. I tighten that up, pull that a little bit and just make sure it's all it's all secure. Then I'm going to trim. You know, I can probably use this piece of wire for the other side. And then I'm going to bend this a little bit. And I'm going to trim that off. So now if I have to just pinch those wires in just a tiny bit, because you don't want anything sticking out. I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. So those are nice and tight. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim right above that wire. I think we're going to do one at a time. All right, so now what this is going to be, I'm going to take my end cap and I'm going to insert, you want to be able to have, to insert the wire and everything into your end cap. We're going to put hot glue in this end cap and then we're going to push this in. So you want enough room for uh, the hot glue to come up and go around the hair. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put, I believe they're jump rings, on this and that's what you're going to hook the clasp to. Let me get out my handy dandy tools. Put that on there. You want to have, I'd like to have this sort of all ready to go um, before I glue the end cap on. And then what I'd like to do also is take just a small piece of painter's tape. Um, and again, these are just silly things that I do. You don't have to do this. But I like to wrap it around my end cap and it sort of protects it from the glue. And plus when you put the glue in, the end cap gets kind of warm. So maybe it kind of protects a little bit from the heat too. Alright, so now I have my end cap, and I'm going to put glue in it, and we're going to stick it in there. So, let's get my, I've got my glue gun. I really like uh, this glue gun. It has a very small tip, um, so I can, I have better control over 
where the glue goes. So I'm just going to try to keep my head back. I'm going to put glue in there. And then I'm going to stick the end into the glue. I'm going to push it in as far as I can. And you can see some, there's not much glue came out, so that's good. And you can just take, if I had fingernails, you can just take fingernails and kind of um, get that glue off. Now, now, if once you've done this, you feel, oh, you know, I think I can put a little more glue in here. Again, the benefit of the, the smaller nozzle is you have more control. And again, I'm going to just get that glue off before it hardens. And now I can remove the painter's tape. I should have saved that for the other side. And you have one side. One side of your necklace. So we're going to do the other side. Oh, I need, yep, there's a little jump ring. So I've got my end cap, another jump ring, and the clasp. So I'm going to put those together, and then we're going to um, trim this down, glue it up, and we'll be good to go. Now, what I am going to do, I do have a pendant on some of these uh, necklaces. I like to have a pendant on them for a little bit of weight because um, otherwise I find, depending on how heavy your clasp is, sometimes I find that the clasp works its way around. So having that pendant on. Now this one with the jump ring I have, I can slip right over the top of my end caps. But if you have one that's not large enough to go over your end caps, you're going to want to put it on at this point before you get both end caps on. So I'm going to take it off just so it's not banging around as I'm trying to do this. All right. So when you do your other end cap, you kind of want to make sure when your necklace or bracelet or whatever you're making lays flat, you want to you try to get so your clasp is going to clasp right onto your hoop because you don't want to be twisting your necklace. Um, so then the hook will fall right into the other end. And it sets fairly fast. But I think there's a decent amount of hot glue all the way around that. And how did we do? Yeah, we did pretty good on that. So now I'm going to slide glue, glue everywhere. Slide that on there. And you have yourself a pretty horsehair necklace. See how easy that was? Now normally um, after I make one of these I wouldn't wear it um, for a couple days because you want this glue, you want everything to set. Uh, you don't want to do anything for that. So there you have it. A horsehair necklace. Nice memory, memento, how pretty that is. All right. Thank you for watching Practically Creative. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you too can make, if you have horses, can make your own horsehair necklace. Bye!